Hey traders, this is Blake Morrow with Trader Summit and I'm bringing in Mr. Dick Matthews from 1.io. This is kind of a, a last minute, wanted to bring him in to talk about the Bank of England. And uh, Richard, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, hey, I know, I was gonna say, I know you have just a few minutes before you have to uh, you have to jump on a train, but we wanted to get your, your, your opinions and your views of the Bank of England ahead of this BOE decision. Um, and maybe maybe some other views too. So what are your thoughts ahead of the BOE tomorrow? Um, <clears throat> look at the inflation data which came out today. You'd be in the camp to cut. Um, inflation back at their target level, miraculously, down at 2%. However, services inflation is still, you know, three times their target rate. There's some underlying problems, I think, there, which the headline covers up. Um, but if I was looking at the headline, I was wishing soon, I'd be praying. For the Bank of England to cut tomorrow. I actually, I don't think they will. I think it's it's too political to do so. I was going to say it's it, it's too political to do so. But would you get would you get some some maybe changes in votes ahead of uh, or during this meeting? Yeah, I think so. I think you're going to get a much tighter. Uh, many more, so more members of the MPC looking to for a cut than you did before. However. Um, it looks almost certain that we're going to get a Labour government come into power on the, well, the votes on the 4th of July, so from the 5th of July, uh, and looking at their policies, which is going to be greater taxation, trying to spend your way out of growth. I actually think that those are inflationary policies. So I think you're going to get a cut end of summer, early early autumn, early fall, you'll, you'll say, but I think it will be a cut and hold and, and just wait to, to see the impact of these new policies. And funny enough, it's quite similar in, in the US to me. Whichever president elected or re-elected, I think they're going to go out and there's going to be inflationary policies. You put tariffs on goods, et cetera, you know, it, it's going to um, push up prices. So I think, and I know I've said it for a long time, uh, that inflation is not dead and buried as yet. I don't disagree with you. I do think that that uh, whatever whatever president or, or, or reelected or elected is going to be inflationary for sure. Um, and that's going to be a question probably for another day, how it's going to affect the dollar. But what else is on your radar right now? What else are you paying really close attention to at this moment? Um, I, I hate p political markets because they're really, really hard to be. Obviously, you've got elections. You've, you've got um, all well, pretty much all of the European governments have had a wake-up call with the right wing taking power or, or gaining votes in the European elections. I don't think they're ultra-right wing. I just think they tend to be right wing. I think um, France is, has, I think he's very brave to call an election. I suspect he's really going to get his, um, his comeuppance, Macron, uh, which to me means you're going to get a right wing there. I think Italy's very, very right wing. So you're going to see a big change, populist politics coming through in Europe. Uh, dare I say, a la Trump in, in the US. It's this populism. I think inflation's hurt us all as, as individuals. And I think it's hurt our pockets. I think most people are worried about the influx of immigration into our countries unchecked or checked or whatever. I think that this is a major worry. And this sort of move to the right wing is, is something which we should be watching. Yeah, and 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 so, do you think that that's going to be more euro uh, negative? I mean, because right now, you, obviously, the euro had a negative impact to this, but but will it be overall? I mean, the the euro may slump right now just because I think it was more it it, it jostled the market, but longer term, what's what's that look like for the euro? I, I actually think it is quite negative because I think you're going to see a. A, a spreading in the risk premium between bunds and oats and, and you know, BCPs and bunds and, you know, you're going to see a re-racing, you're going to see these tensions come back into, into the Eurozone, which will be reflected on, on in the market. You know, it, it's, um, it's going to be a tough call over there. I, as you know, I, I'm not a great lover of the Euro ever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I think you're going to see some, some real tensions come in. Uh, if Le Pen wins in France and looks like she's going to do um she's absolutely no fan of the um of, of, of the euro or of the European Commission neither is Maloney I mean I don't know if you've seen her body language talking to Macron 
you know, she says, oh, my God, I don't want to talk to this guy and just really, really snubs him. So I think the political tensions will come to play in there. Um, funnily enough, and all it really suits is Russia. I think that they're the winners out of this. Well, you know, let's uh, let's let's see how it, how it all shakes out um, in 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 the euro, especially as we get towards the end of this month on the 30th. So overall, overall. And and then I'll I'll let you go because I know that we're going to keep this short and uh, and you have a train to catch, but overall where would you be positioned? What are you looking to trade right now? I buy Bitcoin. <laughs> You're going to love me for saying it. Uh, I I actually I quite like Bitcoin. I think there's another ridiculous number of issuances uh, insurance coming out in the states. I think it's a continued debasement of the dollar. I know it's not popular opinion. But I think that you keep issuing paper and issuing paper. It's, 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 the numbers are mind-boggling. Um, so I think alternative assets are okay. attractive. I think there's a whole generation of people who prefer to buy a digital currency than buy gold. But, you know, I'd be looking looking towards that. And i actually quite interested in the oil market. I think it's bounced back. And I think LNG looks interesting as well. I think there's some tensions building there and there's been a bit of volatility yeah, the crude the crude market does look pretty pretty bullish, and I've, you know I've heard other macro economists uh, you know say uh, in the past you know one of, one of the things that really uh, spurs on a, a recession globally is higher energy costs. So uh, you know I don't know what's going to create that that higher uh, crude oil price, but it does look like it it could go. Yeah, which is odd because I think we are looking towards a recession. Yeah, if you look at most of the data, it shows that the economies are slowing down. And it's funny that you're seeing crude getting bid. Um, I just have a yeah, I just have a I like a, a, of crude at the moment. I just like energy uh, as, as a class at the moment. Um, you know, currency wise, I'd still be short of the euro. I'd probably actually buy sterling over the euro because I think we're gonna uh, yeah, I know this will come out as I say this, the Bank of England will cuss as you release it. <laughs> If the Bank of England doesn't cut today when this comes out, uh, I'd be I'd be long and sterling over the euro. All right. Well, well, Richard, we we appreciate your thoughts, um, and uh, and I know you have to catch a train. So, what's the best way for traders to follow your work? Uh, you can catch me um, uh, on, on my uh, Twitter, which is at Dicky Matthews with a five instead of the S, or at one io on LinkedIn, on our website, uh, and on Twitter. Thank you, Richard, for spending your time with us. Now go catch that train and we're going to catch you. Uh, we'll, we'll catch you on the flip side, hopefully in the next week or two. Yeah, great. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, traders. Blake Morrow here. Thanks for stopping by our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also click the bell notifications so you do not miss any of our market-related trading analysis from some of the leading industry experts. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next video.